We got military people here for some reason. I wonder what's going on. Anyway, the rest of the caches are up are up uh, this road here. They're along that road. Unfortunately, I'm not allowed to go up that road on my motorcycle or my bicycle. So I'm out of luck with these caches. Oh well. Oh, it's a convoy. All right, that makes sense. <laughs> oh, there's more. The soldiers are riding in buses, oh man. When I was in the army, we did not ride in buses. When I was in the army, we sat on little wooden benches in the back of deuce and a half. Ah, these kids today got it made. Well, there went my geocaching plants. I, I didn't know that that road was off limits to motorcycles. All right, well, there's a series of geocaches. The first one, number one, both the Garmin and the iPhone, GZ it right there in the middle of the road. So, I looked at the hint, it said viaduct under. Well, I, um, I looked up here first. Uh, usually, uh, when they hide geocaches on these crosswalks, they're usually somewhere in the middle. I didn't see it though. I didn't look under everything though because this is uh, this is an active crosswalk, and me crawling around on my hands and knees with my head peered under the the railing there. Um, I was drawing too much attention. So what I'm going to do? This I don't have, so I'm going to make one. I'm going to go buy a mirror, put it on a stick. I don't have one of those. And now I'm thinking, here in Korea looking for all these micros, that might be a really good thing to have. So, I'm going to go home, and I'm going to make one of those. I'm going to go to the dollar store, see if they got the little mirrors. And I'm going to do that today. That's my project. Okay, well... Um, considering that I don't really have the tools to make something, um, I, I looked around for pre-existing tools that I could modify, and I found this a little uh, hoe type thing. And uh, there's a mirror in here. I'll attach the mirror to that and a light, a little battery-operated light. You just push it, and the light comes out. All right, so there it is. Uh, I'm going to work on that in a little while, and then I'll show you the outcome. All right, so that's uh, my solution. Um, you can just push that, and the lights come on. So you can see what's under cat tree yeah. so it's it I think it'll be useful uh, some people are gonna tell me oh you should have a long handle on it though but um, they're assuming I live in a country where you can just go to a hardware store and, and find things like that or you can go to a a Home Depot or something. We, we, don't, we don't have stuff like that here. So when we make things here um, It's <laughs> whatever's handy whatever we can find and that's what I found uh, The mirror and the light cost me three dollars and the tool cost me six dollars So that's pretty good and it'll help me see underneath things um, I'm on a motorcycle so a long handle I, I can't just throw things in a trunk and go. 
Um, so I have to think about what I can carry in a backpack. And I think this is, e is going to be easier to carry in a backpack. So, yep, that's what I did. When that, uh, when that sets, dries, I'll, uh, I might go back out to that uh, bridge again and look for it. Or I might wait till evening to see if the light shows up something better. Sometimes it's easier to find things when the sun's not high in the sky. Okay, well, that's my little adventure so far today. Uh, there's a lot going on. Not pretty. Not pretty at all. Um, you remember uh, what was this, what was that actress's name in uh, what was that Cher and Nicolas Cage movie years ago? Moon Blue. I forgot what the name it was. Olympia Dukakis said, your life is going down the toilet. That's how I feel. Uh, everything's falling to pieces. And I know exactly what people will say. It's all my fault. Yeah, it is my fault. It is my fault. I know. Sugar's trying to tell me it's not, but... She's biased. All right. Thanks for watching.